Oh, that's a very good video, I think. Uh, where's my camera? Oh, guys, what are you doing in the fridge? Oh, my God. Can't take you anywhere, can I? Hey, right then, guys. Right, I'm just having a Dark Revolution Deviant Beer. Looks a bit like that. It's beautiful. So hoppy. Ah, lovely beer. Mm -mm -mm. Right then, problem with mini kegs. Uh, on the last video, I think that I was going to rack my zombie dust into my hobgoblin five litre mini keg. Ah, uh, no, because I had to get this off. Uh, wow, well, basically, that's what's sort of left of it. I had to hack the fuck out of it to get this off. Now, in the videos, um, I saw a few with like Uncle Jonah and um, other people. You actually use this sort of button. This is like a two piece, well, it's actually, it's like a three piece button. This red bit pops out, and this other red bit comes off. Now, and this one, this pops off, and this is just one. Um, it's, it's just, well, yeah, it's just one one piece. So that's why I couldn't reuse that, obviously. I couldn't get a good seal, you know. I tried, but no. Nah. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, so I went out and ordered one of these. And I got... Uh, five or six of these to go with it so I can now use these in that in my goblin so I've got two kegs now but on the plus side I'm brewing up a zombie dust again because I really want to try a zombie dust from the mini keg uh, I wanted to do it last time but I had to use bottles instead. So the plan is um, probably in, in my 11 litre batch, the five litres will go in here and the remainder, remaining litres will go in bottles, I presume. Unless I've filled sod it, I just bung it both in there. Why not, eh? I don't know. But I'm thinking of planning um, of doing a just a, like a 10 litre sort of extract brew which is going to use just one kilo of extract that's dry dry my dry my dry malt extract um so i might just save one of these and put the dry malt extract brew into this i think i'm gonna do something like a a 20 minute boil something you know i'm not going to do a full full hour i'm not even going to use any bittering hops i'm just gonna uh flame out i'm just gonna whack shit loads of hops and try and make it really really hoppy but yeah so yeah the the problem with mini kegs so if anybody's out there who's got some of these i think that you can reuse them uh if you can get that off without damage damaging it then fair play to you but I suggest you go out and buy some of these uh, I got these from Brew UK so I've got like five or six of these one come with the easy keg this one but yeah uh, that's the plan so I'm just having a little, little drink it's Thursday night Oh, I got some um, got some new tubing because uh, I've got a couple of ciders in the front room fermenting away. Well, one's already finished. I'm letting that 
sort of like mellow out. Now I'm going to rack that to secondary. Uh, dry hop that. Bung it in one of these. And I've got another one. Which. It's a strange one. It's, it's. At first. For the first week it didn't really ferment. But now it's. Sort of bubbling away. It's a tropical fruit. Sort of like. Um, apple. No, no, there's no apple juice in it. There's mango, there's mandarin, there's all sorts of different flavours in there. But the actual juice is like really thick. So it, in the carboy, there's like loads of like pulp and fruity stuff in it. Um, I was going to dump it, but it started to ferment. So I'm just going to go with it and see how that goes. Turns out, but yeah, it's, it's a strange one. Uh, I might make a little video about it later on, but yeah, um, I think I'm going to have to rack that to um, secondary and leave it for a long, long time just to see whether the, um, well, look, it's, it's, the actual liquid's quite thick with like fruit juices. Um, it's hard to explain, but it's not, it's not like doing a normal cider. Strange. But yeah, if that ferments and it tastes like alcohol, excellent. Right then guys, so as always, I'll see you lot in the next video. I think I'm going to put you, put you lot back in the fridge where you belong. So now guys, 